Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be filming a well overdue haul. Um, it'll be a collective haul, just a bits and bobs that I have been collecting um, since my last haul video, which was ages ago. Obviously I had a massive break from YouTube and then I decided that I would be on a spending ban because I was moving into, the, into a new home. Considering the amount of time it's been since my last haul, I don't think I've really bought that much, um, but yeah, I don't know, I'll let you decide, but it's just a mixture of things from makeup to beauty products to clothes, and yeah, I will just get cracking. Actually, before I do, I also have a giveaway that is on my blog. Um, I find my blog the easiest way to host giveaways rather than doing them on here, I don't know if you guys think it's better to do them on here then I might give that a whirl but basically it is a giveaway, it's a £50 Topshop voucher and you can enter it on my blog, um, all of the details are on the blog post, all you need to do is make sure you're following my blog um, by two different means or one of two different means and also comment on the blog post. Um, it's going to run for two weeks and the winner will be announced on my blog on the 6th of September, which is a Friday. Um, so if you want to enter, then you can go and do that on my blog and I will link the post below and I will just get cracking. Not everything is from Selfridges, um, they're from various different places as I said, um, but I bought something from Selfridges so I whacked it in there. Okay, so first of all I'm going to start off with some ASOS, ASOS, whatever you want to call it, purchases. Um, um, by the way, I will say that I have actually worn and used the majority of these things because they weren't bought yesterday. So there are a few things that I haven't worn yet, but the majority of the stuff I have. Um, so first up are these little babies. They are Brogues. They are patent. They are Oxblood, and I love them. I think they are so... so cute! I already have two pairs of Brogues, but they are not patent, and they're not red so I had to have these. They're actually really affordable, they're £35 and they're actually really good quality, I really love them so yes love these and they're from ASOS um, and I got these a couple of weeks ago so they're still in stock if you want to go and grab yourself a pair but they remind me of Dorothy shoes and um, so I feel like um, I should be in the Wizard of Oz when I wear them but I really like them. And then the other item of clothing I picked up from ASOS was this little mini skirt. Da, 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 da. It's very cute and I love the neon print and it's just very cute and swishy. I like it. Um, so yes, that was £36, which is quite actually quite pricey, but it's good quality material, it's quite thick, um, and yeah, I just really like it. It adds a bit of colour um to your wardrobe, doesn't it? And I just really like it. It's been nice wearing it in the warmer weather that we've been having, um, but it's also going to be really nice for winter with a pair of tights and some boots. All the brogues, you know. So that is ASOS. These are my favourite things ever. Moomins. Moomin pyjamas. If you don't know what Moomins are, stop watching because you just should know what Moomins are. They are the best thing. I used to watch them all the time when I was little and these are from Primark. Primark, you always get it spot on. And look at the bottoms. They're really, they're like tight leggings on the bottom, which I really like, um, which does make them actually a lot warmer than regular pyjamas because they cling to you so much. These are probably gonna be more of a winter staple, but the bottoms were seven pounds and the top was five pounds, I think. Um, so Primark pajamas, they're always a good price, aren't they? And I just absolutely love those. Okay, next up is, what shall I do next? I'll do skincare. I got a bit of new, sorry, I'm just all over the place. Just exploded on my hand, ugh. Okay, so I got some new skincare. Uh, it's my really good friend Zoe from Zoe New Love. Um, please go and check out her channel and her blog if you haven't already. Um, but she is really hot on her skincare and her beauty and she was giving me advice on my skincare. 
and she told me about a brand called Jalique um, and I just absolutely love this brand now I've purchased from them. I got the Jalique Purifying Foaming Cleanser um, which is meant to rebalance oiliness um, and Jalique I'd say they're, they're high end but they're, they're I'd say they're in terms of price, they're maybe like the bottom end of the higher end. I think this was like £27, which for a cleanser, I'm happy to pay because I struggle with my skin. So I always spend um, a fair amount of money on skincare because I feel it's important to me. So that's that. This is I'm going to talk more about the products in kind of like monthly favourites, I think, because they'll definitely be featuring in them. But I got this cleanser. I got the Jolique Citrus Purifying Mist. Um, which is like a spritz toner. Oh, and it's in a lovely little glass bottle. It's so cute. Um, and it's a good size as well, and it just smells amazing. Um, and again, I think that was around 20, 22 pounds. And they also sent me a little freebie, um, a herbal recovery gel, an antioxidant serum to revive, restore, and protect skin. And I've been using this at night time after I've cleansed, after I've toned, and before I've moisturised, um, it's just a little, again, it's in a little glass bottle, but it's really, it's quite dinky. Um, I don't know how big it is, 15 mil. Um, but it's been, it's been, I've had these for a while now, and this is still going strong. Um, so, yes, really like this as well, and it's been really helping with any blemishes that I have. So, overnight recovery, big thumbs up. And then... I bought a new moisturiser from Elemental Herbology um, called, called Moisture Milk. It's a facial moisturiser for oil control. Um, and it's in this lovely little silver shiny packaging. This is the box. And again, this is just amazing. It is a really milky, runny consistency. Um, and for oiliness, just giving it the big thumbs up. If you've tried any of these brands before and you recommend any of their other products, then please let me know. And if you want to know anything more about these products before um, my monthly favourites videos where I explain them a bit more in detail, the Jolique products um, I will be mentioning in blog posts and stuff very soon. Um, and I've already written about the cleanser if you want to have a look at that. Um, I also bought two bits from uh, MAC. I bought a Studio Fix Max powder um, in... NC20, um, you are probably very familiar with this, um, just the powder and then underneath it's got the little pad, um, which I don't really use to be honest, I think I've used it once to see what it was like, but I just use my powder brush and um, I have the mineralised skin finish um, in light plus and this is the equivalent to that but in a heavier foundation powder form, so um, I use this um, on its own. Um, as a foundation and I really like this it's really lovely and I also bought the vanilla pigment um, because I have seen so many beauty bloggers and vloggers talking about the pigments from MAC and I've never tried one and I really really like this I've got it on now I don't know if the camera will pick it up but I just put it in the corners of my eyes and on my brow bone and um, my fringe has grown a bit long now so you can't actually probably see my eyebrows but um, just really love this, it's really really strong pigmentation and it just gives a burst of lightness around your eyes and it's going to last forever. I know I know it's like the dinkiest pot ever but you really only need like a smidgen of powder um, to get the effect that you want so love that. Okay, top shop. Um, I bought this little t-shirt um, in it's like a referee's top, it reminds me of, but it's like a crop with really like oversized sleeves. Um, and this was in the sale actually. Um, was it in the sale actually? Well, it says it was ten, it's £10 on here, so maybe it wasn't in the sale because I thought £10 was quite cheap for Topshop. Um, but I really like this, just for a casual kind of like everyday wear. And I also bought from them these like Aztec drop jeweled earrings, and they've got little gold, sorry, they've got like gold droplets and then a turquoise stone at the top and I just really like them, I think they were £10 and then I bought these really cute little sandals um, also from Topshop and they remind me of being at school and they've got like this kind of like jellified heel and they're black and kind of like a suede finish 
and they're just so cute. They're really, really comfortable. They're £36, I think, and they're definitely worth every penny. I absolutely will wear them every single day. And they, I just feel like I should have some, like, white, frilly, knee-length socks on with them. They just remind me of preschool. Um, but I like going back to my youth. They're, and I think they're really cute. So that is what I got from there. And, and that is it, guys, apart from what I am wearing right now, which is these dungarees how cute are these i don't know if you need to be able to see them properly but can you see can you see <laughs> they are my favorite thing in the world ever they're from american apparel i didn't actually buy them for myself me and daniel went shopping to the bull ring in birmingham um and he was going shopping for him and I was going with him and I was trying to be good and um, so I only bought my friend a birthday present but when I spotted these oh my god I just fell in love I absolutely adore them um and he was nice enough to treat me they're very expensive um I will link them below so you can go and have a look if you want to but I'm literally getting so much wear out of them so I know I'm going to get Daniel's money's worth um and thank you Daniel for treating me um but I absolutely love them I don't know if you guys will be a a big fan but I think they're really cute and yes I love them very much indeed so that concludes all the bits and bobs that I have bought since last saw me and um, that is it guys don't forget to enter the giveaway if you fancy it and um, I will see you all again soon bye